Good afternoon, and uh, we're trying to record outside, so I don't know how the sound is going to be. But uh, with a little bit of the monastery in the backdrop, you, I believe, can see the fields and perhaps a bit of the little serpentine lake that's here on the monastery grounds. And uh, I wanted to, first of all, answer a couple of questions. Someone asked me to say a little bit more about what we mean in using the Jesus prayer and have the castic prayer when we talk about gathering yourself or collecting yourself. And we human beings tend to be fairly scattered. Our minds wander from one thing to another. Sometimes we seem to be, well, internally contradicting ourselves. Our passions take us in one direction and another. Our thoughts, our temptations, our aspirations, uh, our hopes in life, and our physical needs all of these sometimes seem to clash against one another. And in order to deal with this and bring ourselves together to collect ourselves, we need to find a kind of inner quietness or stillness. Now, we're not talking about something called quietism, but we're talking about a kind of inner stillness that gives us the opportunity to be alone with ourselves and then bring our Lord Jesus Christ into this relationship. And in order to do that, we use the Jesus prayer, the Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. And we use the prayer rope as well because it helps us to focus so much. And we try to bring our focus on, on, on our own heart. To bring our mind into the heart means to stop our mind from wandering around and contemplating and thinking about and being confused and upset and agitated with all kinds of various things. And this is the way to bring us to a kind of inner peacefulness. And when we come to that kind of an inner peacefulness, then we can open our hearts in a more pure and meaningful prayer that sometimes comes without even any words. But in order to work on that, we have to focus on our, our heart. And to keep that focus through prayer to such a degree that we can bring our mind together and stop it from wandering and thinking about all of these other things and being concerned with all of these other things. It's sort of like in the uh, great uh, anthem of the people of God, the, the cherubim hymn in the liturgy, where we say, lay aside all earthly care that we may receive the king of all. And that really is at the heart of the prayer of the heart, to lay aside all earthly care that we may receive the king of all. And then we get control of the way our mind takes us to very sundry places. And eventually, through long years of practice, we can even gain some control and some focus in the um, way our mind works when we're not actually thinking about anything or contemplating anything. And this is a kind of standard mode network in which the mind works by itself, autonomously, without us interjecting any specific thoughts or specific ideas into it. And uh, so it's only through using the prayer and focusing on the heart to try to bring all of our thoughts and all of our concerns and the worries that afflict us to bring them together, push them to the side, and bring our mind fully into the heart. So because it's our mind that is wandering, it's our mind that is filled with so many different things, it's our mind that's unpeaceful, it's our mind that's under the stress. And when the mind is under stress, it puts the body under stress. And this can even undermine our physical health. So what we're trying to do then is to bring our mind to focus on the heart. And then gradually through prayer and contemplation and focus in the prayer to bring the mind into the heart. And this means that we stop the mind from wandering and carrying us into various attachments and uh, various um, uh, plans and 
hopes and uh, all the other distractions of the world so that we can have, for that time at least, a complete peacefulness and in that peacefulness and in that focus and that contemplation in our hearts, we can begin to realize the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in our heart and begin to attract the indwelling of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. So I can't give what would be a satisfactory answer to everyone because gathering ourselves together, collecting ourselves, bringing ourselves, our mind into the heart is something that can be known really only from experience. And for us, really, it cannot be anything like a permanent condition or situation because we have the cares of the world that are upon us to worry about. And those monks who live in isolation on Mount Athos or someplace, they can give themselves over more fully to this and then share the experience with us so that we understand what we're striving for. But everyone, to one degree or another, through a concentration on prayer, a focus on the heart, and a real contemplation of the heart and of Christ, can bring themselves to this kind of an inner peace in which they feel that they're a whole, complete person and not a person scattered and deflected in many directions and places at once, which robs us of a kind of wholeness and fullness of personhood. So we really are trying to come to grips with and understand our own hypostasis, our own personhood, who we are and our relationship with Christ, and to bring ourselves to the kind of focus that gives us more control over our mind and our thoughts, rather than us being controlled by external stimuli. And this is really the meaning of collecting ourselves and bringing ourselves together and then bringing the mind into the heart. So thank you and God bless you.